In this video, I will go over how to install LASX 3.7.1 with hardware control. As always, please consult with your Advanced Workflow Specialist or the Application Support Team before installing LASX. To install LASX, right-click on the Setup file and then run as the administrator. At the Welcome to Setup window, click Next and then yes to agree to the license agreement. At this point, you can choose between hardware control and offline, select the hardware control. If all you need to do is update dri camera drivers, go ahead and check this box, click next. This menu has a lot of options. The first is to install the driver for the licensed dongle. Uh, NIDEC is for electrophysiology. Then there's remote care, FlexNet, and remote analytics. Go ahead and check those boxes if you like. Leave the microscope firmware boxes unchecked and then click Next. Click Next to install the program to the default folder. During the installation, the camera module will launch. Go ahead and click Next. And then select Turf and GSD if you have one. Otherwise, just leave it unchecked. Here's the list of drivers available in 3.7.1. Click through the list to get an idea of which cameras are grouped under which headings. If you still don't know, please consult with your AWS. Click Next to install. If you are installing a driver for one of the EZ cameras, this installer will show up. When the camera module is finished installing, click Finish. When the setup is finished, go ahead and click Yes, I want to restart my computer now and click Finish. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to click no, I don't want to restart my computer now so I can show you how the hardware configurator works. LASX hardware configurator should be a shortcut on your desktop. Go ahead and open that and then go to hardware setup. So this is just meant to be a quick overview of hardware configurator. Please consult with your AWS or the application support team to configure your microscope correctly. So I'm just going to set up with a manual microscope that's actually not connected to my computer, the test pass, because there's not there's no connection. And then I can also set up some different configurations depending on how many microscopes I have connected to the computer. So the next thing I usually do is check the firmware update. Since I have a manual microscope that's not connected to my computer, I don't have any listed firmware updates, but this is where I usually go next before I go to configure. And here's where you really want to consult with your AWS or the applications team in terms of configuring these parts onto your microscope setup. So now we're done. Let's close the hardware configurator. Now let's open LASX. So when this menu pops up, I'm going to select Standard Configuration and then click OK. So I just wanted to show you what the simulation mode looks like. With the simulator camera, you can see when we go live, it'll just give you this scrolling color bar, essentially. You also have the full menus. Um, I have a dongle on here for the analysis, so that's why that's unlocked. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, please call the application support team at 866-830-0735, extension 3.